Derek. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked vortex chicken drumsticks. Now, you know how things are going these days. Inflation is high, everything's so expensive, so I'm always checking to see what's at sale at the local market. Well, lo and behold, they had the family pack of chicken drumsticks for 99 cents a pound. This whole package here cost me around $4. So, hey, I'm always looking for something to do inexpensive to feed my family. So that's what I just decided to get today. Real easy. I got some spray olive oil and I got some seasoning. And I have a vortex uh, that I'm going to use in my kettle grill. My poor kettle grill uh, hasn't been used in quite a long time. And this vortex rings just uh, produces a high amount of heat and I can kind of make sure those uh, chicken wings on the outer edge of my grate in my kettle will get nice and crispy with this intense heat and it's not very difficult I'm guessing this is going to take maybe 35 to 45 minutes uh, to cook and dinner will be served super easy super delicious super inexpensive so stick around guys I'm going to show you how to do this step by step let's get cooking Alright guys, so here's my $4 <laughs> worth of chicken drumsticks. It's around 4 pounds, 99 cents a pound. So the first thing I'm going to do, I just put them in a tray here. I'm going to spray them with a little of uh, olive oil spray. You can also brush on some olive oil if you don't have the spray. I just kind of like the spray because it's kind of super convenient. I don't have to spend a whole lot of time. Just like so. And then coat it with your favorite barbecue rub. I'm trying something I've never tried before from Suckle Busters. This is their honey barbecue rub. I saw it at the store and I knew I was making these drumsticks. I said, hey, why not try that? All right, guys, so you know how this works. It's not very complicated here. I'm going to put a good dusting of this rub on my chicken drumsticks. Put them in a the pan so you don't get the whole kitchen counter messy okay just like so all right well, I'm going to carefully flip these over and reverse the process all right they're flipped over another light spring of the olive oil this will also besides letting the allowing a a moist surface to have the rub stick to. I think this is also going to make sure that that outer skin on these drumsticks get nice and crispy. Alright guys, I mean how complicated is that? I mean it's about as easy as you can do. Now you don't have to do this in the kettle grill. You don't have to do it with a vortex. You can do a pellet smoker, gas grill, whatever you want but I'm gonna do it on the kettle grill with the vortex ring because I had that vortex ring and I haven't used it in a long time there you go guys it's not quite ready to eat these are probably like I said only gonna take 45 minutes so I'm gonna stick these in the fridge let this rub kind of soak into the chicken and uh, yeah when we're ready to eat I'll uh, fire up the kettle outside and we'll go from there in the meantime I'm gonna have something to drink I'll meet you guys downstairs at the bar all right, guys, so I'm trying something new here. Velvet Green Dry Stout. This is from Valkyrie Brewing Company out of Dallas, Wisconsin. I didn't even know there was a Dallas, Wisconsin until recently. But that's what I'm having. I have no idea what to expect of this. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a dry stout. But that's what I'm having. Always excited when I not only find a new beer, but especially if I find a beer from a local Wisconsin independent brewery that uh, I've never tried or never heard of. And there's a lot of them out here. All right, do, do we have an alcohol content on this? No, nope. just says Valkyrie Brewing Company, Dallas, Wisconsin. All right, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, it's dark. All right. So I wonder if this is going to be like a regular stout beer. I don't know what the dry means. Alright, well, there we go.
we go. Not much of a head, but I didn't kind of pour it like that. Hmm. Not picking up much on the smell either. <clears throat> As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. Thank you very much. All right. Definitely a stout. But more not as uh, creamy as like a Guinness. You know, a Guinness has that little kind of creamy edge to it. This tastes more like a beer. It's more liquidy. But it's got that stout flavor. I mean, it's not bad. One thing I always liked about Guinness or any kind of stout was that little bit of that, almost like a creaminess, uh, the thickness, I guess, the feel of the beer itself. And this... That, I guess, is what dry stout means. It's just a stout beer without that creaminess. I mean, it's got a very good flavor, and I'll enjoy it. Anyway, guys, uh, kids are going to be coming home from school probably within 45 minutes or so. Uh, and, you know, dinner's not quite going to be uh, ready to be served for a few more hours. So I just put those chicken drumsticks in the fridge. Let that rub kind of penetrate into the meat a little bit. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of hang out here. And then when we're ready to cook them, I'll just fire up some coals, put them in the vortex. And like I said, this should take maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes tops. Uh, the weather has been kind of raining off and on, so hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. But seeing how this is an all-day cook, I'll have to just somehow power through even if it starts raining a little bit harder. Anyway, guys, I'll meet up with you in a little bit when we're ready to fire up the, the kettle grill. Till then, cheers. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, right, guys. The rain has stopped. So I have one of these little smaller charcoal chimneys for the pit barrel cooker, so it's not full size. I have a few uh, charcoals in there. I'm finishing up my Kingsford. This isn't completely all ashed over yet, but I'm just going to let it heat up in here might add a few on top too but there's that vortex and this isn't mine isn't an official vortex it's a imitation one but it does the same job all right guys we'll just give it a minute to heat up all right guys I got that vortex going it is roaring hot so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the chicken along the edge here I might move the meteor part closer to the center as this cook progresses but I just I want to kind of I want to get a little bit of smoke on these things so I try to keep them as far away from the center whoop I'm gonna put the cover on what I'm gonna do is take a piece of apple wood I'm going to put that whoop, right on top, and I'm going to put this cover on it, and we're going to let it go for around, I don't know, I'm going to come back around 10 minutes, we'll check this. Alright guys, we are exactly at the 20 minute mark, let's take a look, oh you can definitely tell they are getting some color, but let's just take a temperature reading here because I have no idea, we want to get these up to around 175, ooh 166. That one's a little one. They're almost there. I'm going to flip them over. Just remember where you started. minutes so I'm at around a half hour mark right now let's take a look Woo -hoo. all right let me come around on this side we'll do some uh, temperature readings here 178 yeah yeah if they go a little over they look like they're juicy as as can be because there's this liquid dripping down 178 185, yeah, see, these are pretty much done. You just want to make sure they're at least 175. Whew. 
hot, hot, hot. Oh, I hit a bone there. Well, a couple of them here aren't quite there. I'm going to give them five more minutes. I did take the piece of wood off because it was uh, catching on fire. And uh, I think I got plenty of smoke on these already. Let's, uh, oh, here comes the train. Let's take a close look at these guys. Yeah. Man, oh man. Yeah, that vortex is perfect for chicken drumsticks. Now, if you want to glaze them with some of your favorite barbecue sauce at this point, feel free. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. We can always uh, dip them in barbecue sauce when we eat them. It's going to be like the ultimate uh, finger food. Man, oh man. Look at these guys. All right. We'll give them around five more minutes. Hey guys, it's been around another five minutes. I think these are pretty much done. <coughs> Let's do one more temperature reading here. These bigger ones were the ones I was most concerned about. Oop, I hit a bone. So you know what, the smaller ones I'm gonna remove. Actually, they're not that one is, it's a little guy. We'll move that guy back. The little ones kind of move back from the heat and let the big ones kind of stay more towards the, the heat. So I'm just gonna put the big ones like this. Little ones I'll kind of move back, turn sideways a little bit. Oh man, I can smell them. They smell wonderful. Whew, it's hot. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the cover on it. I'm just gonna crank open the vents wide open just for another five minutes, kind of get the skin just that last bit of crispiness. All right, guys, there we go. Full open. We'll be back. Hi guys, it's been around 35 minutes total. I think these are done. The smoke has definitely subsided. Let's just take one leg here to see where we're at. Yep, 175. Perfect. Take this big one here. 178. All right. 176. These are done, guys. I'm going to take them off. I will meet you inside. All right, guys. I've had them under foil here for around 15 minutes. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. The smell of smoke. Oh. All right. There we go. Very easy vortex, smoked vortex chicken drumsticks. Get one out here, give us a sample in just a second. Welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica. Hi, guys. I've laid these out in a very nice way. <laughs> very eloquently. So go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and pick one here. This right. is. It smells good, huh? It does smell good. <laughs> I kept going out in the garage. Are you okay? But it... Now, like I mentioned, you can glaze these with a little bit of barbecue sauce if you want. I just wanted to try them just like this. Oh, no. Cheers. It smells they're good. very smoky. It smells really good. All right. But they look moist. Oh, they're very they're moist. Very spongy. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Those are... Wow. Mm. Those aren't even dry. Hey. You gotta tell them I don't even eat these normally. Yeah, Monica <laughs> normally doesn't like to eat drumsticks or anything off chicken the wings, like this. but ribs I will. I mean, I don't know if you can see how juicy this meat is, guys. This is good. Mm hmm. 
Mmm, just a mild sm smoky flavor. It's zippy, but it's It rubs a little zippy, I have to admit. A little bit, huh? But it's got a good flavor. Mmm. I like this a lot. Okay. So guys, if you're you... are turning me into it. Yeah. If you, get, <laughs> if you can get these for 99 cents a pound, pick up one of those Vortex rings for your kettle grill. Took around uh, 40 minutes. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is better than like a restaurant. No, definitely more I mean, this smoking. is really good. And the seasoning you chose is good. A little zippy. Whew. Mm. My lips are burning. Definitely but it's good. good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's good though. Not enough to keep me away. <laughs> right? No. Mm-hmm. And I can taste the smoke. Yeah, if you do get the vortex ring, try to put a piece of wood on top, like I did, at least for the first 20 minutes, then it kind of caught on fire and I just took it off, but we have added mm -hmm. just the right amount of smoke to it. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button. This logo on my shirt is the logo on the bottom of the screen. Click on that. It allows you to subscribe to my channel. Please do that. It helps my channel grow. He really is the smoke king. <laughs> I smell like smoke right now. Oh, my. <laughs> it's, it's like meat. I always tell you. That's like the no. perfume I love. Yeah. S smoke cologne. <laughs> I love it. And I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokeandbarbecue.com. That's where I have all my recipes, photos, uh, the whole bit, and then links to the video as well. So go check that out, guys. Do it. And again, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Mmm. You forgot to say our crazy family, too. I should have. Bought a couple oh. packs to put in the freezer, you know, for later on. Well, the sale. Oh. It's around four pounds of these. For four bucks. I mean, how can you beat that? Okay, well, the sale doesn't end until t the end of tomorrow. No, well, maybe I'll pick some I'm more. already going back to get more Annie's. Okay. Because Kyle wants it too. Mm hmm. So, if you want me to pick some up, tell me. I think we will. Okay. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Mm hmm.